Christmas break. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Roxanne, Roxanne. Oh, uh, Gregory. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back to the Pizza Plex after school. Oh my gosh, Roxanne, it's finally winter break. I'm so excited. Yay! I'll have to go to school for <laughs> two whole weeks. I'm very excited for you. <laughs> All right, are you done with work? I'm ready to, you know, get home. We can start making some Christmas cookies. And oh, oh my gosh, we can make um that, that thing with like the caramel and the saltine crackers. That thing sounds so uh, good. Christmas crack. Yeah, yes, that, does that sound one. Wonderful. You make such good Christmas crack. <laughs> Thanks, Gregory. Um, but unfortunately, no, we've got a little bit of time before we get to head home. Cause... What? Well, you know, the Pizza Plex is also closing for a little Christmas break, if you will. So that means we have a lot of cleaning to get done. No, Yay. Roxanne, not cleaning. <sighs> Roxanne, we can't just... Look, it's winter break, not cleaning break, okay? I mean, we're I'm supposed to be out of school <sighs> and doing crazy things like going snowboarding and, I don't know, building snowmen and doing... And the, there the... will be plenty of time for that, Gregory. But first, we gotta get the rest of our work done so I can go on break too and enjoy it. But <sighs> cleaning the pizza plex is going to take forever. I know, sweetheart, but how about I get us... You know, a little bit of help recruited, and we can even listen to Christmas music while we finish it. Who are you going to get to help us? I feel like that's what determines this. <laughs> well, I have a couple ideas. Okay, fine. I'll go <laughs> grab the, the broom. <laughs> All right. I'll go tell the others. All right. <laughs> Christmas, it's gonna be a fall. Just gotta clean things up, it would be tough, but not with us all. We're ready for presents, we're gonna spread some cheer. And we'll make the most, let's have a toast to a wonderful end of the year. I'm a superstar sweeping up. But this Christmas chaos is making me rage Santa's coming, gotta make it right But cleaning up this mess is gonna take all night I've got a mop in one hand, a vacuum in the other This day care's a disaster, ho oh, brother I'll clean it up, yes, I'll make it shine Before I go insane and lose my mind Oh, stop, Roxy. You're so smart. These are caught in my cake compartment, oh dear. If I can't get them out, it'll grind my gears. Maybe big enough for a human boy. But I kind of went overboard while buying him toys. We're ready for Christmas. It's gonna be a fall. Just gotta clean things up. It won't be tough. Just made it clatter. Dropping the food cake made the loudest splatter. I want to help clean, but truly I can't. Is anyone around to give me a hand? The clock is ticking and the dough is rising. The cheese is melting. Oh, it's so tantalizing. Get in my stomach right now before I go crazy. Oh, <laughs> oops. We've got crafts and toys. So high, stars twinkling in the daycare sky. Ornaments filling up the tree. Our first family Christmas, I'm so full of glee. We're ready for Christmas. It's gonna be a fall. Just gotta clean things up. It would be tough, but no.
And here we are, home at last. Finally. Oh, finally, indeed. But I mean, that wasn't so bad, right? Once we got everyone to help. I mean, I think help is kind of a strong word. A lot of people seem to kind of have their own issues with um, their own <sighs> things going on. But I mean, yeah, we got it done at the end of the day. So that's good. <laughs> I guess that's true, but at least finally we can relax knowing everything is taken care of at the Pizza Plex. <laughs> Absolutely. Plus, I gotta be honest, that really helped me get really into the Christmas spirit, Roxanne. Oh, well, in that case, I guess you should start getting to some other work. <laughs> some other work? Uh, like, what? <laughs> Don't worry. Working on your Christmas list, of course. I mean... Well, if I'm being honest, you have been a little naughty this year, Gregory, but... Okay, we've been despite... over this, Roxanne. I mean, when you pranked me with the whole Freddy thing pretending to be Santa Claus. I mean, I was promised that I was on the nice list and that I was not getting cold this year. <laughs> I guess that's true. Don't worry, Santa is still going to bring you plenty of presents, I'm sure. Really? Yeah. So, what do you think you want for Christmas? Huh. I guess I didn't think about that, but I could think now. What are some things that I want for Christmas? Hmm, well I guess... Race cars and faster blasters, huge jet engines to go faster will end in a lot of laughter for me and my friends. Animatronic dogs, the pizza plex built with Lincoln logs, a pool filled with eggnog, giant, crazy, stretchy rubber bands, big old macho dinosaurs, a Freddy Fazbear that can roar. Who could ever ask for more? I wonder what he has in store for me. Yes, I want a lot for Christmas. Yes, I might be quite ambitious. Sugar cookies are delicious. They're on my holiday wish list. I want it all. Let's deck the halls with brand new Lego sets from the FNAF movie. Jump on slip and slides from the new trampoline. Cause I Gregory, look, you can't just have everything for Christmas. I mean, that's the point of the list. But Santa has magic. He can bring me anything that I want. Well, Santa won't be bringing you anything if you don't get your chores done, young man. When is the last time you took out the trash? Maybe he could just give me some cash. Gregory, this is the last time I'll ask. Okay, fine. Ugh. First you gotta scrub. And I mean scrub the dishes. Then go upstairs and feed the fishes. Then I'll have all of my Christmas wishes. Oh, um, sure. Next I'll clean out Santa's bank account. His bank account? Get more toys than even I can count. Um, okay. I'd have all of the V-Bucks. And I'll have endless money for Starbucks. <laughs> I want it all. Let's deck the halls. I want a Frappuccino. Sam, what's going on? I want peppermint mocha. Maybe a tea with tapio. Hey! This is my song! I want it all. Let's deck the halls. Santa, give me anything that rocks. Oh, and new socks. No, please, anything but socks. Cause I want it all New rubber duckies for my collection Yeah, I want it all Maybe my list sort of lost some direction <laughs> You 
you think? <laughs> that was a lot of fun, but honestly, now that I think about it, I really don't know what I actually want for Christmas this year, Roxanne, but I have someone that may or may not be able to help me come up with a real list for Santa. Oh, who's that? Cassie! <laughs> Oh, that's a wonderful idea. I mean, I guess if you want to go see Cassie, I wouldn't mind, but, um, you do have to finish your chores first. Oh. The, the, the right. trash, the dishes, you gotta feed the fishes. Um, yeah. Cool. I'll get on that. Get, yeah, get to that and I'll, I'll drive you over there. All right. <laughs> Oh man, Helpy, as much as I love school, I'm so excited to finally be on a break. My first real, like, school break. <laughs> I know, this is gonna be so exciting. You're not used to having these kinds of breaks. No, I'm not. I mean, when I was homeschooled, I kind of just got homeschooled all the time, but this is huge. I mean, I basically don't have anything to do for the next couple of weeks. <gasps> We're going to have so much fun. We're definitely going to have to invite Gregory over, but he'll probably be busy at some point or another but uh, but that's fine um you and i can hang out we can have our our movie nights we can have game nights we can uh we could uh, go to the arcade or something we could order pizza there's so many different things that we can do and we can sleep in late which i am going to love <laughs> and of course the big thing that you're missing Oh, uh, the, the cheese board night. Yeah, I almost forgot. We definitely want to have some cheese boards because, um, you know, I, I know you love cheese and your pickles and so do I. So, yeah, cheese. Uh, maybe we should make a cheese board right now. Wait, what? What, what do you a cheese board right now? Look, Cassie. Yeah. You kind of seem to be avoiding the end. Avoiding, avo av avoiding what, Helpy? I'm not avoiding anything. I'm just, I'm excited to have this break with you, one of my very best friends, and we're going to have so much fun, and uh, that's the whole point of this break. It's going to be great. It's going to be relaxing. We're going to enjoy every single second of it. Do uh, you want some peanut butter on the cheese board? No, Cassie. I want you to tell me what this break is actually for. Um, mental health? Cassie, it's Christmas break. You haven't <sighs> mentioned any plans for Christmas this year. You seem to be avoiding the topic altogether. What's going on? You seem upset. I can read your vitals. Don't make me, like, you know, do Oh, okay. I, I know you can read my vitals, Helpy, and... Sorry, I just... <sighs> the reason why I didn't want to talk about it being Christmas break is because that reminds me that it's Christmas, and... Christmas isn't that great of a holiday for me. Really? Why is that? I mean, look around, Helpy. Do you see any Christmas decorations? Do you see my mom? Or even my stepdad? I... I don't even think we have anything planned for Christmas this year. In fact, I think they have stuff planned, but it's an adult work retreat, and... I can't go. Wait, what? So... You're going to be all alone for Christmas? Well, actually, I guess that's not the case because you get to spend your first Christmas with Helpy. Exactly. I'm I'm not going to be alone, but I think it's just easier for me and everyone involved if we just don't really think about it as Christmas. I mean, just hanging out and having sleepovers with my best friend is more like it for me. Yeah. And, um, <sighs> look... I don't really want to bring up the subject, but does this maybe also have anything to do with your birth dad? I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but maybe a little. I think that's why my mom hasn't liked doing anything crazy for Christmas the past couple of years. My dad always made it so special for us. He would... <laughs> yeah, it's funny, but... When we were sleeping, and he would even sneak out of bed with my mom, and he would decorate the whole entire house by himself overnight. We would wake up, and we would smell pancakes and bacon, and the whole house would be decorated for Christmas. And wow. we didn't have much, but it's just the little, you know, acts that he did that made it so special. 
And I guess I really miss that. That does sound very special. Elpie's still sad that he never got to meet him. He sounds like such a cool person. He was. And he would have loved you. And he, you would have loved him too. He was... He was a really great dad. Um, well, I'm really sorry if I brought up any feelings of sadness that maybe you weren't thinking about, but here, um, um you go and, um, you know, brush yourself off a bit, and Helpy will go ahead and make that cookie recipe that he's been wanting to make for a really long time. He's been getting <laughs> a lot better at baking, so hopefully if I make them this time, they won't turn out all mushy like last time. Well, you are getting better with baking, and I've been trying to give you more free reign, so... Sure. You know what, Helpy? Cookies sound great. Really? Hang I on. promise it won't be another brownie situation. <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess you work on that, and I'll be down in a little bit, okay? Yeah, that sounds great. Alright, I'll see you soon. Sounds good. Alright, Helpy. Cookie time. Oh gosh, what was the first ingredient? I wear a smile like tinsel, a fragile disguise The truth is this teardrops falling from my eyes I wish upon the snowflakes, hoping you can see Broken little girl who just wants a family just wants a family Snow you, Dad. Um. Um. Oh. Uh. Hi. Gregory. Hey. Um. I feel kind of bad, like, in intruding. I didn't really mean to. No. Uh, I, 
I didn't know you were coming, but uh, I'm happy to see you. Uh, did you hear all that? Um, yeah. Also, um, okay. Helpy let me in. He said something about um going to the store or something because his cookies were all messed up and oh, watery or something. I probably should have been watching over him. I just, I... <sighs> I'm kind of going through it, if I'm honest. Um, I, um, I, I see that. Um, yeah. I, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer or anything, so if you don't want to talk about it, it's fine. Cassie, um, you know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. And I'm I, here for you for whatever you need. Uh, yeah. Look, Christmas is supposed to be special, and it seems like ever since your dad passed, it hasn't been special, and that sucks. It's, it's not that it hasn't been special, it's that it just hasn't been. I mean, my family and I haven't really celebrated Christmas for... A really long time. I mean, don't get me wrong, my mom will get me presents and stuff, but it's not magical and whatever else like it used to be. I mean, <laughs> I just remembering Christmas with my dad, he did everything in his power to make it special. I mean, from decorating the house to making my mom and I cookies and all these wonderful treats and oh we had a tradition where every year he had this really cute bonnie ornament and he would hide it in the tree and my mom and I would have to find it and the first person to find it would get the first you know cookie or something it's just now we don't even decorate the house my mom isn't even gonna be here for Christmas so let's it's just gonna be Helpy and I. And... That's fine, I'm, I'm still grateful that I get to spend it with my best friend, but... I guess I'm just also kinda sad. That's... Totally understandable, Cassie. I... I didn't... Know any of this stuff. If I... Would've, then I... Would've gone out of my way to try to make... All of this... Way more special for you. Well, that's not your responsibility, Gregory, and I would never ask you for that, but thank you. I I appreciate it. You're you're really sweet. Look, um I know it's not exactly the same, but um Roxanne and I are gonna be throwing a giant Christmas party this year, and honestly, everyone's going to be coming. Our family, our friends, there's gonna be a ton of people there and plus we're hopefully going to be decorating the house and everything and um well if you wanted to come join us then I think that'd be really fun and you could um, have a great time and you can join us for Christmas if you wanted to I don't want to force you I know that um, <laughs> uh, do I want to would I ever I, that Sounds a lot of fun. But you don't think Roxanne would mind? No. Cassie, Roxanne loves you. And once she hears about all of this, she's, first of all, gonna be kind of heartbroken, and she's probably going to be a little overbearing and protective towards <laughs> you. So just prepare yourself for that. Nothing you're not yeah. used to. <laughs> um, But she would love to have you. Everyone would love to have you. Yeah, that... That would be awesome, Gregory. I'd, I'd love to. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, does that mean we could do some fun Christmas activities together up until, you know, the big day? Absolutely. We can make cookies and <laughs> we can decorate a bunch of stuff. Um, what are some other things we do? You can even help us decorate the tree if you want. You know what? Maybe we can hmm. even go to the Pizza Plex gift shop and get a Bonnie ornament or something, and we can make it a tradition. Oh, well, that would be awesome. I mean, Bonnie was my dad's favorite, so... I... I would really like that. But thanks, Gregory. Of course. Uh... Wait. <laughs> Do you 
you smell burning? Did help you leave the oven on? We should probably go check that. Oh, gosh. Oh, help me! No. No, no, no. Not again. It's like this happens every year. Uh, any minute now, this stupid white stuff's gonna be falling from the sky. Snow, they call it. Hmm. Maybe if I build up enough campfires, I can... I can find a way to stop it from falling in general. Oh, no. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Do I have a phone? Yeah, I do. Uh, hello? 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 Uh, hi, Dad. It's, it's Roxanne, your favorite... Oh, hey, baby girl. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing, um... Uh, I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, you oh, said you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing... Well. Uh, how's, um, uh, uh... Frankie, how's Frankie doing? Um, I haven't seen him in the past couple of days, but oh. I can assume he's doing well. Um, That's good to hear. Oh, and Gregory. How's Gregory doing? <laughs> Gregory is very, very good. He's excited to be off uh, school for break. Uh, look. Oh. I actually called for a specific reason. Um, I... <sighs> I'm kind of already dreading this up, but... Dad, I... I don't want to fight. Why would I ever want to fight with you? Uh, exactly, so... <laughs> just keep that in mind when I say the thing I'm about to say. Um, <clears throat> I was just wondering, um... And I wanted to invite you to come to Christmas this year. Uh, I mean, I know you've been trying to hang out with the family more and everything, so I just wanted to offer because I thought it would be nice. Hold on, wait. Uh, you still trying to do that stupid thing? Christmas? I mean, you, yeah. You didn't, like, give up on it yet? No, of course not, Dad. I mean, it's... Oh, and you're like, making the others have to learn about it, too? Well, it's a holiday. It's... <laughs> National well, holidays can be avoided. Holiday. You know, I've been avoiding holidays for many years. Look, you know how I, I feel about Christmas. I know, but it's just a time that you could... Get it's not just a time, it's... It affects people. It makes them act all uh, weird like. I just thought it would be nice for you to visit with your family on the holidays. Well, our family never needed too much Christmas in the past. Why now? Well, we... Mom and I did celebrate Christmas. We just hid it from you. Say what now? I, I mean, we couldn't have Christmas decorations because you would tear them down, but... Mom and I True. still always did, you know, breakfast on Christmas Day, exchanged gifts. I mean, we tried giving you gifts, but you always said you hated them because they came they from Santa. Because they were terrible. Well, we tried. B the besides, point being, Dad, people love Christmas, so maybe that just this once you could put aside your pride and come and visit with your family. I, I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm very busy Why? this time of year. No, you're not. You're just stuck up in that cabin in the middle. No, of the I'm lake extremely and... busy. There are things that need to be done. Like what? Well, there's wood that needs to be chopped. There's things that need to be cleaned. Besides, what am I going to eat? At Christmas, I mean, we're going to have a, probably a turkey, a ham, pie, mashed potatoes, the whole nine yards. It's like Thanksgiving, except more gift giving. Look, I'm not going to get out of my way just to celebrate some sort of Christmas when I can enjoy it myself. Fine. Dad, if that's what you want to do, if you want to be all alone on Christmas, then... And don't you bring up this Christmas again. Afterwards, I'll be happy to spend some time with you. I was afraid this would happen. I... I don't even know why I tried. All right, I got way too much going on to continue this, Dad. I guess I'll see you after the holidays. I'll see you after the holidays. Bye. <sighs> Told her I was busy. Little does she know, I know what's coming. Lay 
lately I've not been feeling so merry Holidays for me are kind of very scary All of me is sharp and hairy But I'm about to do something so legendary I've been hunting Santa since I was a baby Saw that piggy hop into the sleigh The only way to get me off of Mr. Maybe Drop him at the sleigh, little piggy needs a coffin What you gonna do when something twisted Comes running right for you Better run, run, little pig Run, little pig, run, run, run You won't have a clue when it's finally Christmas And there's nothing now for you No more time for fun, little pig, fun Little pig, no more fun. We're about to have a not so merry, fairly legendary, very scary Christmas. It'll get a little twisted. We're about to have a not so merry, fairly legendary, very scary Christmas. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. One little pig, one little pig. You know that you better run, little pig. Two little pig, who little pig said I won't have time for you, little pig. Three little pig for me, little pig. Ain't no time to light the tree, little pig. No more shouting out with glee, little pig. I think it's time you better flee, little pig. What you gonna do when something twisted comes right and right for you? Little run, run, little pig, run, little pig, run, run, run. You won't have a clue. And it's finally Christmas and there's nothing now for you No more time for fun, little pig, fun, little pig, no more fun We're about to have a nice so merry, fairly legendary, very scary No cookies or dairy, clearly wary, more than barely hairy, very scary Running out of fairy, how long will this carry? Very, very, very scary Christmas <sighs> Lately, I've not been feeling so merry. Holiday for me are very scary. It'll be so legendary when I finally eat Santa and his little reindeer, too. It's about time these children earned their gifts and take what's theirs. The hunt is on, Santa. What you gonna do when something twisted comes running right for you? Better run, run, little pig, run, little pig, run, run, run. You won't have a clue when it's finally Christmas and there's nothing left of you. Now it's time to hunt, little pig, run, little pig, run, run. Oh man, I am frustrated. I, I mean, I don't really know what I was even expecting when it comes to dad. I mean, of course he was going to say no, but I, I had to ask. I mean, he's been so much better this year. I, he's been spending more time with his family, with, with me, and even Gregory and Frankie. I mean, he took a liking to Frankie right away. Gregory, he's taken a little bit more convincing, but... I can still see that he's trying. So, I just thought at the very least, you know, despite what he thinks about Christmas or whatever, he would at least want to spend that time with his family. But I guess I was wrong. I mean, I should have known. He's been like this ever since I was a little girl. Always hating the idea of Christmas and... I don't really know what it is. Is it the gift giving? Is it the jolly old fat man? To be honest, it probably is the jolly old fat man. He probably wants to eat him. But that's besides the point. He should be able to look past that and realize that it's more than gift giving and decorations and other stuff. It's about spending quality time with the people and animatronics you love. But what can you do? I can't dwell on this too much longer. I have way too much to worry about. Far too much on my plate. <sighs> All right. Roxanne, Roxanne! Oh, uh, Gregory, you're home. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Um. How, how was Cassie's? It was, um, nice, I guess. I mean... Um, I think everything's fine. Help you almost burn the kitchen down, but, um... <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> but everything's good. Yeah, let's just say he's not um much of a baker. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Look, well, um, I talked to Cassie about some things, and apparently Christmas for her every year isn't well Christmas at all, and she's really upset because ever since her dad died. They don't really celebrate Christmas anymore, and this is going to be the first year that she knows us for Christmas. And I was thinking because we go ham for Christmas every year, that maybe we could go extra, extra ham this year and make it really special for Cassie because I may or may not have invited her to Christmas this year. Um, oh, okay. Well, I'm more than excited to host Cassie for Christmas. I mean, you know how we are. She's, all, of course, more than welcome um, about going ham for Christmas. I mean, that should be possible. It's just, uh, um, I mean, to be honest, Gregory, I haven't even gotten the Christmas decor out of the attic or anything yet, but... Oh. Um, I mean, I could help you get it out. I mean, we can move the piano out of the way and we can do a giant Christmas tree here this year. We can do wreaths all oh. over the walls. We can do, we can do uh, twinkly lights everywhere. That'll be really cool. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do, uh, okay? Um, uh, I, I can probably throw something together. <laughs> it's just, um... And definitely some high expectations, wanting it to be perfect. <laughs> yeah, and like, honestly, maybe we can even put some, like, garland over here on, like, the bar top, and like, ooh, maybe we could put, like, yeah. more twinkly lights over here, and put some little snowmen and, like, gingerbread people on the coffee bar. That would be oh. kind of fun, and, um, honestly, we can probably change out our painting right here to something maybe more Christmassy. I mean, as much as, um... This whale shark thing is really cool. I really think that maybe we could have like another snowman or like a picture of Santa Claus on um, his on his sleigh. Uh, yeah, that sounds awesome, Gregory. Uh, you know what? Uh, I actually um was talking to your father, and I think he wanted you to uh go over there for the night and spend some time with him in Circus Baby. You know, since you didn't get to last week. Oh, um. Really? Yeah, uh, doesn't that sound like fun? I'll give you uh, some money and I'll get you an Uber over there and maybe you guys can order pizza or something. Um, yeah, that that sounds great. Are you sure you don't want to hang out or anything tonight? You oh, I'm, I'm sure, but yeah. Uh, or... No, I'm not upset. I'm just, um, I have a little bit more uh, work I need to get done on my computer and... Um, I just want to get a good night's rest, you know, so I can work on making Christmas perfect oh. this year. Yeah. Um, um, that sounds good. Um, maybe, um, I can help you get the stuff out of the attic tomorrow? Yeah, that, that sounds nice. Um, just go have fun with your, your dad, okay? Yeah, that sounds great. Um, okay. okay. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow, sweetheart. See you tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to tell him that I'm already overwhelmed trying to make this holiday good for everyone, and uh, no, things just got added to the list. I, I mean, surely it'll work out and be fine, but I want this holiday to be perfect, and already Dad's not coming. We have an extra guest with Cassie, and don't get me wrong, Cassie's more than a part of the family now, but just the expectation of wanting to make things perfect for her again. I mean, I went crazy for Halloween. I just, oh man, I don't know if I have this in me this year. I guess we'll do our best, but what if it doesn't work out? What if what if I let everyone down?
The snow's falling down, the lights are so bright But inside I'm drowning, can't sleep through the night There's a list in my mind, it's a mile long Now I'm racing against time, everything's gone wrong The tree needs decorating and the gifts to be wrapped but my head's spinning around I can't think, feel so trapped There's dinner to cook And cards to be sent But I'm overwhelmed All my energy spent What if I can't get everything done? What if I ruin Christmas for everyone? The pressure is building It's too much to bear I'm just one person, do they even care? What if lights don't shine and the turkey's too dry? What if I forget how to make the pie? The stockings are hung but my heart's feeling numb What if I ruin Christmas for everyone this year? Isn't supposed to be filled with delight But stress wraps around me and it's squeezing tight The joy and the love, where do they go? Lost in the shuffle, this festive woe Decorations in disarray, the tree slightly tilted What if my efforts leave their spirits wilted? The clock ticks louder as the day draws near The fear of failure, it whispers in my ear What if I can't get everything done? What if I ruin Christmas for everyone? The pressure is building, it's too much to bear I'm just one person to I'm just saying, if we're going to make Christmas cookies, we got to do the ones with the cornflakes, and then you got to do the marshmallow so good, fluff Great stuff, and, and then the green. They make a little Christmas wreath, and then you put the cinnamon candy. Oh, what? What are you freaking out about? Okay, I just thought of, I just thought of the most romantic thing I can do for Roxanne right now. Oh, gosh. Good for you. Anyways, so, so we put the little the, cinnamon candies uh, on the Christmas like, wreaths. You know, I need you guys' help. We should go to Taco Bell, and we should get those uh, cinnamon little bun thingies, and we should put them uh, in the cookies. The ones with the cream? You're yes. so right. It, uh, what do you What do you need our help with? I, I'm not good on romance. I, thought you, I am the... No, I'm the one who gets romanced. I'm not the romancee. Anyways, continue. Uh, look. What is the most romantic thing you can do with someone you know, on Christmas? 
Oh. Ooh, you could book one of those hotel rooms that has the heart beds and <gasps> then the bathtubs like in the room so you can stare Ooh. at them while they're naked. They also, oh, um, sure. I was also going to say a lot of those rooms a lot of the times have like the remotes that you like, it comes down from like the ceiling and you can press it and it has like the different color changing lights so you can oh, make it like and don't forget moody. the little chocolates on the pillow. Oh, Gregory, yes, hold on. doesn't like white chocolate. Pause, though, so, um, hold on. Gregory, how do you know that? How do you know that? I don't know. I've seen it in like movies and stuff. Okay, fair enough. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to question what you watch later. Um, but no, 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 no. First off, all those hotel rooms are booked throughout the entire New Year. Ah, well, I tried. But anyway, so I was thinking we could also do the thumbprint cookies with mistletoe. What about toes? What? Yeah, mistletoe. Whose toe? If you catch Who's... someone under the mistletoe, you have to kiss. It is one of the Wait, oldest. Wait, have to? Yeah. Do you get their consent first? It's, it's technically you do. It's it's like a tradition thing. Okay, oh. well, as long as I don't find myself under any mistletoe in here, then I'm <laughs> good to go, I guess. Okay. Wait, so but... you're wanting to get Roxanne under the mistletoe? Is this what you're kind of getting at? Yes. It is one of the most romantic things. It's like a tradition, but it's also like, it, it's it's also cute and romantic, and it, it fits Roxanne style. I, I mean, I mean, I guess it is pretty cute, but I mean, if you want this to be a big special moment, from the sounds of it, you're gonna have to do something with that mistletoe, what? and that mistletoe, and that mistletoe, and that mistletoe, and that mistletoe. I mean, just like, I mean, My look, you need a pedicure. This little piggy went to the market. You know, you. It's so close to Christmas. All those places are closed right now. Also, uh, open your mouth really quick. Ah. Uh, I would not uh -oh. want to be kissing that. Your, <laughs> your teeth are yellowed, my friend. You should also worry about, uh, you oh, know, no. whitening those bad boys no, up. No, no, no. Oh, God, no. It's from. I was testing out Chica's new holiday candies. I think they had the little dyes in them. Oh, no. Yikes. Well, from here, it just looks like bad hygiene, so might want to fix that and... Ugh, you might want to buy some cologne, too. One, one of the good kinds. What? Why? Why? What are you... Okay. Okay. I get all that, but I thought you said you didn't know anything about all this. Well, no. I said that I'm the person who gets romanced. I'm not the romancee. And if I was getting romanced by you, I wouldn't like what I see. <laughs> or smell. I'm just being honest. I'm trying to help you. I, I get that. Okay. I guess and I could. Plus, I mean, if anyone's an expert, it's gonna be me, right? I mean, it's kind of true. But I mean, what all do you really know about romance, circus baby? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you on the table? I oh. mean, like I said, I'm not the romance, sir. I'm the what? You get it. I've said it enough at this point. But I mean, I'm, I, look at me. Everybody wants me. I'm the baddest clown in town. It's kind of just how it is. Why are you guys staring at me like that? Do I need to do a magical music number or something? Okay, fine. I'll do it. Oh, gosh. Um, what's that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. What's happening? Circus baby. Where are we? I'm the baddest clown in town, don't forget it. Oh. I'll cool you up with my ice cream, don't sweat it. I'm with my red nose shining, big tails on point. So you like the attention. <laughs> Duh, that's the point. Just look around, I got the crowd in a daze. The attention's on me like I hit center stage. I'm the star of the show. You're the baddest clown in town. <laughs> um, I'm the baddest clown around these parts of town. Just one glance at me could turn your frown upside down. With my big floppy shoes and my shiny red hair, I'll make you fall in love. <laughs> I swear. So used to all the clowns feeling sassy as can be. Embrace you in a circus and let your spirit free. Be the baddest in 
town, spread some joy and cheer. Merry Christmas to everyone. Let's plan it up next year. Yeah. Ooh. Uh-huh. Woo. <laughs> uh, Do you know what's up, Gregory? Baddest <laughs> clown. Yeah. In town. That's me. Woo. What does that even mean? I'm the baddest in town. So, what do you think? I'm the baddest clown in town, right? Um, yeah, the woo, oh, the ba uh, oh, 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 I think he got annoyed with your song. He kind of stormed out midway through. I think he was freaking out and maybe going to get all that stuff that you told him to get. I mean, he kept smelling himself and, like, touching his teeth. So, I think you may have, um, frightened him. <laughs> eh, I mean, not everybody can handle this much, uh, badness. Right. Want some hot chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Let's make those cookies, too. <gasps> yes, the little wreath ones! Okay, Roxy, come on. You just have to pull yourself out of this slump. I mean... Uh, I guess, what am I expecting? Things to just be like the good old days? I mean, sure, Dad never loved Christmas, but... Mom, Rocky, and I always made the best of it. Oh, Rocky... I wouldn't give for you to just be here. Another holiday you could have spent with with Gregory. You could have met Frankie. I, I know you would be here to help me decorate or make pies or whatever I needed. Oh, I wish you were here. But I know that you're up there and hopefully at peace. At least I hope you're at peace. I'm... I'll never forgive myself for almost ruining your paradise, but at the very least, I hope you know that as much as I miss you and I wish you were here and I always, always will, I... I'm at peace with everything, too. But, God. I just... I could really use my big brother right now. I hope everything is... better for you up there. I love you. I... I hear you, Roxy, and... I miss you so much too, but I promise I'm in a much better place now, and from what I can see, it seems like you are in a better place too, which is fantastic. I know you may be stressed right now over the holidays and trying to get everything done and have everything be perfect, but it's never going to be perfect. And the sooner you see that, the sooner you'll be able to find peace with all of this as well. I... I promise, though. Everything is going to work out. Just like everything worked out for me. In the shadow of the past I wandered through the night a journey filled with sorrow, no end in sight. But now the road has led me to a place that's so divine. A paradise for Christmas where all the stars align. I've weathered every storm, faced the dark.
back home my gosh i'm so excited to just spend some time by oh gregory finally you're here oh my gosh something terrible is going on um wait what something terrible what's what's going on what's happening oh no evan was supposed to meet me here but he hasn't come yet and i gregory i don't know what's going on evan's been disappeared for like i don't know probably hours but wait. time moves differently over here so it could have been days uh, i don't really know wait okay slow down okay what what is going on you disappearing uh, well, yeah uh, no this, something is happening gregory i don't I, I don't know what it is if it's like a maybe it's like a sickness or something but i i, I couldn't find you I, I i tried really hard but i couldn't find where you were and i wanted to tell you about it but I, I i couldn't what do you mean you couldn't find me? Lizzie, you and Evan can always find me no matter where I go. Well, that's the thing, Gregory. Typically, we can always find you, but for some reason, our our abilities aren't working anymore. And and the scary part is we, we keep disappearing and reappearing like we're able to come back, but then it just happens again and we just get sent to some sort of void. I, I don't know if... I don't know if we're going to be able to stay here much longer. Wait. Like, you, we won't be able to like be here anymore. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's almost like our connection to this plane is deteriorating. Gregory, you have to help us. You have to do something. I, I still can't find Evan. I don't know where he is, and typically I'm always able to find him. And I couldn't even find you. And I'm, Gregory, I'm really scared right now. Wait, oh no, I, Wait, Gregory, he? I. I think it's happening again. I'm already disappearing. Gregory, please, you have to help us. You have to do something. Wait, Li Lizzie. No, 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 no. Lizzie, are you still here? Lizzie. Oh, gosh. Lizzie. Evan. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is really bad. I mean, the connection with this plane is deteriorating. What does that even mean? I... <sighs> okay. I've put this off for way too long, but... Maybe we can finally bring them back. That's that's the only thing I can think right now, right? And that's that's the only thing that could save them. I I need to talk to Golden Freddy. Okay. Oh gosh, Lizzie, Evan, I'm gonna save you. Oh gosh. Okay. Back at Golden Freddy's place. Hopefully. We can get this all taken care of. Um, 
Grandpa! Golden Freddy! Um... Grandpa! Oh gosh, you're gonna do that thing that you always do, aren't you? Grandpa! Where are you? Golden Freddy? It's... it's ah! Oh my gosh! Oh... <laughs> Hello! Hi, um... Hey, so, um... I know it's... Been a while, but, um... I actually had something really important that I wanted to talk to you about. It's about my friends Lizzie and Evan. Um, I'm gonna stop you right there. <sighs> I already know all about it. But you do? Gregory, I've been watching you for a while now. Not because you're my grandson, but also because I've been worried about you. Worried about me? Why? You're delving into more as you get older. And you're part of my family, part of your father's family. You're going to delve more and more into more dangerous topics. Get, your life will get more and more complicated and dangerous. And I've been keeping an eye on you for that. Especially when you hang out with the deceased. Look, we've talked about this before, Grandpa. And it's it was a long time ago. And I came and I was with Evan and you... Gave us a way that we could bring them back to life, and I I didn't do anything for it with it for a while, and I feel really awful about that. But they just came to me, and they're they're going in and out of reality, and it's a big problem right now. And if we don't save them, then they could be gone forever. So I've decided that I I'm ready to do it. Do whatever we need to do to to, to keep them here. Um, what do I have to do? Um, I just um, it's my friend you can't Elizabeth do Afton and Evan Afton. What do you mean I can't do anything? Gregory. The method I told you, it's incomplete. What? Uh, because... <sighs> Gregory, Why would you even tell me about it then? Gregory, can you do magic at all? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, if, are you able to teach me magic? Or <gasps> you're like a god, can you give me magic? Then maybe I can use my magic to bring them back to life. And then if you don't trust me with magic, I totally understand that. Then I can just give the magic back to you or something. I cannot... <sighs> Your magic potential is unknown, and frankly, I don't know if your mother or your father would approve me teaching you for one. I guess Roxanne would probably freak out if I knew magic. And two, the, the homunculus body cannot be completed without magic. And, uh, Gregory, Wait, that's why I'm asking I set you, you up to fail. What? What do you mean? I set you up to fail. Because you need, to, because it was supposed to be a life lesson, that some things are out of your control, some things you can't do. But this, this shouldn't be out of my control. You, you told me, you promised me that this was possible. It is possible, but Gregory, what a homunculus body is and all that, is considered the dark arts, dark evil magic. It is going against. It is going against Mother Nature. Life itself. Well, yeah, they're they're dead, but... They're... They're so amazing. We, I, I just want to bring them back, please. You can't bring them back. Their time on this Earth is over. Oh, no, I, I... I broke... I broke the rules to bring back your father. Do you want to know what happened? What happened? I almost destroyed myself. The, the power and the, and, the, and the mentality to accomplish such a task is monumental. Doing it once almost destroyed me. Doing it for two others? Gregory, you would die. <laughs> there has to be another way, please. I already told them that this is going to happen and... They're all excited, and they're ready to be a big, happy family again. They, they didn't deserve to die in the first place. It's... I understand that. It wasn't fair. How they died is not fair. They didn't deserve it. <sighs> no one deserves to die, Gregory. But there are some things that are out of our control. There are some things that we can't go against. And I'm sorry. I'm not going to help you break the laws of nature. Seriously? I'm sorry, Gregory. I love you, 
and that's why I'm that's why I'm doing this. No, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna get this figured out, with or without you. I'm gonna bring Gregory, my friends don't... back. There, there has to be another way. I'm. I'm gonna figure this out. Gregory, don't do anything stupid. No, I'm. <laughs> I'm doing this. Okay, um, Michael! Hey! Um. Uh, oh, you. Oh, sorry, wait, where's, where's, where's Lizzie and Evan? Well, for some reason, they keep popping in and out of reality, apparently, so that's a new thing. Um. <gasps> oh. Uh, sorry, guys, uh, I'm here, but Gregory! We're so excited to see you! Or, well, I'm excited to see you. I, I was just telling Michael about everything you said, about how you're gonna bring us back! <gasps> Um, no, oh, oh. um, yeah, yeah, this has been new, I will say. Look, this has been something that I've really wanted to talk to you, or I guess, about for a while. I've just, it's been something that I've put off because it was kind of scary, but I mean, I just went and talked to Golden Freddy, and I, I have to be oh, honest. Oh, yeah. I... yeah, yeah, yes, I know about this, yes. About the whole bringing them back. Yeah, is, um... This, is this is this possible? Is this something that can... Of course done, it's possible! Not... Gregory is awesome! Uh, well, I mean, there's this whole situation, Michael. There's this... Well, he's kind of like a god, but not the god that, like, everybody talks about. But maybe... Do you think the Bible is written about Golden Freddy? I... Anyways, look, Evan, it doesn't matter. No, guys, but look, this he's is... gonna bring um, us back! He... He knows, like, magic, and he knows ways to do it and stuff. And it's definitely not going to be easy, but he can absolutely <laughs> do it. He even <laughs> said so himself, and we're going to be a family again. Um. Uh-oh, uh I think it's happening again. Wait, <gasps> Evan. Uh, Ev uh. Look, Michael, that's what I actually came here to talk to you about. I just... Well, I mean, really... this is ah! this is good, right? Oh, yeah, Lizzie? it's fantastic. I mean, Evan and I are so excited. It, sorry, we keep popping in and out. I, it's, I think it's getting worse. But I mean, we're gonna get ready to be people again, so it, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think it would. <laughs> I'm, I'm just really excited to be your little sister again, Michael. And I'm excited to be your big brother. <laughs> so hopefully this gets done sooner rather than later. Definitely. Tow. 
I lost it all, my family, my pride A tale of my making, no one by my side I see the ghosts of my Christmas past Whispering regrets and shadows so vast But in the mirror there's only one face Reflection of a man who's lost his grace They'll be back soon, back to drawing scribbles while they watch cartoons. Our family is chaos, we've been scorned, but we'll be so happy when they're reborn. Now, Ghost of Christmas now, now, Ghost of Christmas now, our family is chaos. Twisted and torn, but we'll be so happy when we're reborn. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Just think of all the memories we're gonna have, Michael. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be yeah. um, a really nice change <laughs> of pace. Um, yeah, this is gonna be um great. Thanks um, for everything, Gregory. We really appreciate it. Uh, um. Uh oh, I think it's. Uh, oh, uh, uh, let's. Uh, Michael, look, I, <laughs> um, I want to talk to you about something. It's actually why I came here in the first place. Um, Lizzie, Evan, don't follow us. Um, Michael, come here. I just. Is this about the whole God thing with the? Because <sighs> look, I mean, I don't get it. A lot of this is new, but I mean, if there's a chance, right? I mean, we gotta go for it. Look. That's kind of what I thought, too, but I just went and talked to Golden Freddy again, and he said that it actually isn't possible. Um, he doesn't want to do the ritual anymore. He said it's too dangerous. So, you're telling me... So you're telling me I'm losing them a second time? Look, Michael, I know this no, is probably No, 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 no. You look here, all right? You promised them that they could come back. And now now what? They're fading out of reality? So they're going to disappear? And now I'm going to lose them again. The time Michael, I get to reconnect. I don't know anything about this slipping in and out of reality. This is brand new, and... When Lizzie came to me, I was scared too, but we we can do something to figure this out, right? I sure hope so, because I don't want to lose them again. Look, After everything I've been through, this has been the one joy that I have gained, and I'm going to lose it. So you better figure this out. Golden Freddy might not be able to bring them back anymore, and I know that I promised them, but I plan to uphold my promise, okay? It's just... We can't do it with magic anymore. We can't do it with Golden Freddy, but I don't know how to do it by myself. You, you know how to invent things, and I'm okay with inventing things, and I know another animatronic who's also really good at inventing things. What if we make something that can bring them back to life? Science, right? I mean, you know, you know all about that. Science and, um, the afterlife can mesh, right? There has to be something, right? I, I hope so. I really hope so. And not even just for my sake. For their sake. Just, I just really hope you know what you're talking about here. And that we can fix this. Me too. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. Where even is our attic entrance? Oh, it's at my bedroom, that's right. Um... Knock, knock. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, who's there? Uh, it's... it's me. Freddy. Oh, uh, alright, Freddy. You can come on in. Hi. Um... Hey. 
What oh, are you, you look... doing here? I came to talk to you real quick. Uh, you look like you've been through a lot today. I have to a degree, and while I am happy to see you, sweetheart, I also just have a lot on my plate right now, a lot to get done, and I... <sighs> Don't take this the wrong way, but you can be a little bit of a nuisance sometimes, so... No, no, uh, I get it. I get it. You can love someone as much as you can, but sometimes they can be a little demanding or annoying. I get it. Right. And also, isn't Gregory supposed to be at your house? He's with Circus Baby. They were doing some kind of <sighs> song dance thing. Sure. Oh, all right. Well, uh, what is it that you need? I, uh... I wanted to ask you something. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> what is it, dear? Like I said, I have a lot to get done. Well, you see, I, uh... Uh, yes? I'm not very good with words, but I guess what I'm trying to say is, um... I may be a bear, but I'm not grizzly. I got so much riz, they should call me Rizzly. Uh, did that make sense? Gregory told me to put that one in. Uh, sure, sweetie. I may not howl like a wolf or a dog, but if you're ever out of tune, I'll fix your data logs. My circuit's a buzz and my stomach's a spin. Every time I see you, I get a real big grin on my face. It's bigger than space. And a human race. Shiny interface. <laughs> oh, wow. If I had one, I'd give you my heart. But all I've got is CPU, so that's a start. I could show you a chart. And I've got great memory, can't you see? It's like 1,100 GB, can't you see? You're great with me. Roxy. All right, that's enough, sweetie. Oh, we're still going. You're my data bytes, my encrypted key. With you by my side, I feel error free. Your signal is strong, so the Wi Fi is on. Your eyes are LED, so your charge must be long. You know what else is long? Oh, sweetie, please no. My bank account. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you make a great motherboard, so I think you deserve a reward. You deserve it, sport. I mean, babe. <laughs> and then there's a... Uh, well, uh... Can we just skip to the last chorus, honey? Oh, sure. If I had one, I'd give you my heart. But all I've got is CPU, so that's a start. I could show you a chart. And I've got great memory, can't you see? It's like 1,100 GB, can't you see? You're great with me, Roxy. Oh, well, uh, that was really sweet, dear, but I have to say I'm a little confused. Um, you, you do have a, a heart, and, and so do I, and... We're also already a, a couple, and, um, I, I just, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, you know how I am. I, I'm not that great with words, and I thought maybe I could sing how I felt about you, <sighs> or instead of saying it out loud. I, I see that, and I, it was a very cute gesture, thank you, and... You know you can talk to me about anything, even if it's a little difficult to get out sometimes. Yeah, I know, I know, but sometimes it still blows me away that I'm with an amazing woman like you. <laughs> well, that's sweet. Now, what was your question that you had to ask? <sighs> You're gonna think this is a little cheesy, but okay. I wanted to know... If you wanted to reenact a old Christmas tradition and have a kiss under the mistletoe. <laughs> um, well, I mean, of, of course. Uh, I, I would love that. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't have to ask, though. 
feels more appropriate to ask. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, well, that was still very, very sweet, and I'm sorry that I was a little crabby when you first got here. I, I do appreciate you and your song and you coming over here to ask in the first place. So. Well, is there anything I can help you out with? Maybe I can alleviate some of your stress and get some of the work done. Um, you know what? Yeah, that would actually be a lot of help. Um, I'm going to go do some dishes. Uh, feel free just to tidy up whatever you can, you know, think would look better. <laughs> yeah, no, and the... the... Oh. Um. There was something under the pillow. <clears throat> you know... About that kiss under the mistletoe. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh gosh, I really hope this works. Um, circus baby. I'm the baddest clown in town. Don't what? Circus I, baby, are you home? Gregory? It's, it's Gregory. It, you know you can just walk in, right? I mean, you basically live here half the time anyway. Oh, well, yeah, I know, but. I, I feel weird still walking into people's houses sometimes, unless it's, like, important, which I guess this is important, but you know what? Never mind. That's... that's okay, just come that's on in, kid. Right What's going on? Want to talk to Circus Baby about something? Yeah, um, it's actually it? something kind of scary. I know that... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Scary? It's Christmas. Wait, you're, you're supposed to cheer up, be happy, put a smile on that face. Look, I know. I'm, I'm trying, okay? Look, but... I know we had a conversation about how we're not going to use your technology and you're going to be safer around me and everything, but I... Oh, boy. What do you... Do you need something? You need a laser gun? A shrink potion? What? What is it? Lizzie and Evan are slipping in and out of reality. They've already died once, and now if what? we have dead children running around during Christmas, it's gonna be really, really scary, and they're gonna disappear again. I just had to tell Michael, and then he yelled at me because Golden Freddy won't bring them back anymore, and I don't know what to do. We have to build something to bring them back, or else they're gonna be dead forever. What? I just... I don't know what to do. Okay, well, I didn't know any of this. I... Lizzie and Evan... What? I knew it! I knew it! What? I knew this holiday's evil! I knew it! What? I knew it! I knew it! Why do you guys celebrate this? What's uh, wrong with you people? Wait, hold on. For, right? Where did you just come from? Upstairs? Well, how long have you been here? A few hours. I could have been walking around naked or something. I didn't oh. know anyone was here. Okay, circus baby. Aren't I technically? Well, <laughs> Regardless, that's not the point. What? Oh. What is wrong with you people? Dead children? Ah, uh, Twisted was right. This is this is a messed up holiday. I don't get why you guys celebrate this. What? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Twisted, Twisted Wolf, Grandpa? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean he why was is, right? This, this is a scary holiday. Why are you guys talking about dead children on Christmas? What well, what is wrong with you people? Well, I don't uh, get it. Um, is he on something? I don't know. Uh, what has uh, Twisted Wolf been telling you? Well, uh. well, he's, he said you know this holiday's evil and. And how how Santa Claus does all these evil things, and he was gonna kill that guy, Wait. and like all this <laughs> other stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it's just uh, what he's uh, gonna kill uh, Santa Claus. Apparently, well, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. He does a lot of weird things that I, I probably shouldn't know about. But regardless, that's not the point. This holiday's messed up, and uh, you know, I I agree, Wolf. This this holiday needs to go down. I'm I think I think we need to remove it from the calendar. I don't know how we're gonna do that. That might take a lot of work. Um, but I feel like we can do it. Okay, look. Frankie, I don't know what he's fully been telling you, but there's a lot that you need to learn about Christmas. What, Gregory? Are you about to, like, break into a song about what the meaning of Christmas is or something? Well, yes. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know, Gregory. I really want to listen to you, but this Santa guy sounds like bad news bears to me. What? No, he's the most jolly person in the whole wide world. I don't know. I mean, Grandpa said... I don't care what Grandpa said. Listen to me. The season of joy and time to be merry. I promise you, bro, Christmas isn't scary. So grab a candy cane 
and lend me your ear. Let's talk about my favorite time of the year. First, huh? there's a jelly man in red with a long white beard. Oh. He brings presents and laughter, spreading joy far and near. He likes cookies, and his name is Santa. He checks his list twice. Twice? I'm not sure what Michael had you doing, but here, take my advice. Okay. Don't be naughty, be nice. But what if everybody gets lice? Ugh, the snow's so cold you can see your breath. But what if someone freezes to death? Can you at least try to play along? Fires, yetis, earthquakes. Oh, God. Uh, what else could go wrong? Okay, let's just think of the season of joy and time to be merry. I promise you, bro, Christmas isn't scary. The twinkling lights will dispel your fears. Let's talk about my favorite time of the year. But what about the Christmas Grinch? He's got a cynical twist Heard he put everyone he knows on his naughty list He roasts the kids on an open fire How could that fill your heart with holiday desire? Oh boy, you're a lot farther gone than I thought Okay, Rudolph has a shiny nose to guide Santa's sleigh. Is that the one that dances on the children's graves? Oh my God, what is Grandpa telling you? The elves, they sit on shelves waiting to strike while a man breaks in your house in the middle of the night. No, you've got it all wrong. Just listen to the words in this song. From the top, the season of joy and time to be merry I promise you bro Christmas isn't scary And now I know I've got nothing to fear It's the most wonderful time of the year The season laugh and play in the snow You taught me something that I've never known I'm so it's my new favorite time of the year. So, um, I, I, I know this is like a, a musical and everything, but maybe we should get back to having that conversation about your dead friends and also kind of like my um, siblings. Um, yeah, um... You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, yeah. Hopefully you learned something about Christmas, though, and you're um, feeling oh, a little I better. Mean, I'm not as scared now. That's nice. It's nice to know yeah. it's not as evil as You know what? Evil as That's a win in my book. <laughs> yeah. Congrats, Frankie. You're no longer scared of Christmas, you little weirdo. Anyways, Gregory, what do you want to do about Lizzie and Evan? Look. I went and I talked to Golden Freddy about the whole ritual and everything that we wanted to do a long time ago, but he said sure. that it's not possible. He said that it's too dangerous and I'm messing with things that I shouldn't mess with. Dead children and all these sorts of things, just messing with the undead. It's just, it's not safe, which I get, but yeah. it's just, it's hard because he promised me so long ago and I promised them and then they told Michael, so now Michael's mad at me. Circus Baby, we need to figure out a way to bring them back, please. There has to be something that you can help us invent, right? Uh, oh, gosh, kid. Um, maybe, I don't know, I've never tried to bring back the dead before, but also, I mean, you remember just a couple of weeks ago that you got too involved with my interdimensional portal and you ended up in the hospital. I almost got you killed. I, I don't know if I feel comfortable getting you involved in something like this again. If something happens to you, especially right around the holidays, Roxanne's going to have my head. I know, but Circus Baby, please, there has to be something that we can do. Lizzie and Evan have been slipping in and out of reality. I, I just want to bring them back. I want my friends here. I don't want them to be gone forever. Look, I, I care about Lizzie and Evan too, but Gregory, they're, they're gone. You're still here. I have to prioritize the living. Look, I'll... I'll see what I can do, okay? I'll, I'll take a look at uh, my equipment. I'll look at some things. I, I guess I can do some research, but I, I don't 
I don't really know what the answer is going to be. But whatever I am able to do or figure out, I I can't have you involved, kid. I'm I'm sorry. What? Seriously? Baby, please. Seriously. I will do my best and I'll keep you updated, okay? But, I mean, it seems like you guys have something else to worry about anyway. I mean, you just had to explain to basically your brother that Christmas isn't, you know, scary. And apparently that all came from your grandpa, Twisted Wolf. And I don't know, it sounds like trauma to me. So you might want to go have a conversation with him while I go figure out the other stuff. Look, okay. Yes, that's fine. And honestly, you make a great point. Um, What was this about him wanting to kill Santa Claus? You know what? Explain on the way. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Circus baby. Well, yep. we'll get this figured out. I know it. Yeah, I'll get right to work and I'll message you if I find anything. Okay? Okay. It's just, Gregory, don't get your hopes up. I'll do my best, but I, I can't guarantee anything. Okay. Thank okay. you for trying, though. Of course. Anytime. All right. Let's go stop our grandpa from killing Santa Claus. Okay. Also, what's trauma? Oh, boy. All right. He has to be. Wait. Oh, <gasps> Frankie. There he is. There he is. Um, okay, so, um, we just have to do what we planned, okay? Okay, uh, which, which part? Um, the, the whole Christmas carol thing, but also... Yeah, yeah I know to... that, but, like, which, which song we start following up? Uh, All right. Well, I'm gonna do Wish You Merry Christmas. You can do Jingle Bells or something, and, okay, you know, okay. the more Christmas songs we do, the happier he'll be, you know? Okay. All right, um... Got it. Um, Grandpa! Ah! Twisted Wolf! Grandpa! Oh, wait, it's you two. Um... Did you see anything? Did I see anything no. fly by? No. I don't think so. Um. So, we went to your cabin and saw that you had something about you um hunting Santa Claus and um a GPS location pinged. So we came out to this um frozen lake. Which, by the way, does he even have a sweater? No. no. Sorry. Okay. Um. Maybe we should hurry this up then. Um. So we just wanted to um, come here and ready, Frankie. Three, yeah. two, one. We Jingle wish you a merry bells. Christmas. Wait, we bells. wish you a merry Jingle Christmas. We That's wish you a merry That's Christmas oh. and a happy Hold on a New Year. Hold on. No, we're done. We're done. We wait, no more singing. No more singing. No more this. 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 No I thought this was supposed to be a musical. What are you doing with that nonsense? Um, well, we're, we're singing. Um, oh, wait, you're supposed to be singing. Good. Um, I uh, look. Uh, don't they got like auto tune because... or something? I don't. I don't think you could just add auto tune to like. Oh yeah, live true. Vocals. You're a human. I forgot about that. <sighs> look, Grandpa. Frankie told me all the things that you told him about Christmas, and you need to. <laughs> You need to tell him the truth. Tris Christmas isn't that bad, right? I mean, why are you out oh, here trying to kill worst. Santa Claus? Think about it, Gregory. All that meat. All those what? presents. All that trauma I've been saving from the rest of the world. The trauma? Look. Work again. Trauma. I've been following a reindeer out all this way into the woods. I saw those footprints all on my doorstep. Mm. And then they just kept going and going. And going. I had to pass through Milwaukee to get here. You know I don't like Milwaukee. But Milwaukee's not even Milwaukee. okay. You know what? Um. So look, can you just tell me what happened with you and why you hate Christmas? Well, why I hate Christmas is Santa and his little reindeer keep getting away from me. That's uh, the worst part. So you just want to eat Santa, and you're mad that. He keeps getting away from you because he has a lot of meat that you can eat. Well, he's a coward. I'll tell you that much. He doesn't want to put up a fair fight. Yeah, I even let those reindeer uh... come with him. Not to mention he's breaking into everyone's houses, causing all kinds of structural damage. Okay. What do you think that man does to a person's chimney? You ever built a <laughs> chimney, Gregory? 
No, I've never built a chimney, but I'm Why assuming you, you haven't either. He probably just because I'm freezing, I can't feel my toes or my fingertips. Wait, We're out here in the middle of a frozen lake, and you're hunting Santa Claus. Look, you I know, need Frank, you. You know, Frank, Because he's an anim. Y you know what? Why don't you just build a fire? If I could just build a fire, then I would build a fire. But I don't know how to just build a fire, Grandpa. Your mama Look. never told you to build a fire. Oh my gosh. Okay. Need some sticks, I please. need you to come home this year for Christmas and see Roxanne because she's really mad that you're not coming this year. No, I'm All the family is going to be there and everything, and she's finally ready to have a really big Christmas this year, and she's really excited that you were finally part of the family again, and now you're not even going to come celebrate the holidays with us? Yeah, it'd be fun. <laughs> Look, as you well know, I'm busy out here. I think a reindeer <laughs> climbed up a tree. He's out here on one of them. I don't think reindeer okay. climbed trees. Um, I don't think well, they can fly, climbed. can't they? Yes. Yes, that's true, but... Why, so then why would they need to climb if they can fly? Well, they need to get a launching point, you know, slingshot themselves into the uh, sky. Guys, there's nothing uh, that... We don't need to be talking about the flying reindeer right now. We need to be talking right. about you and why you can't come home for Christmas. Why is my baby girl even celebrating Christmas to begin with? Because she loves Christmas. Who doesn't like Christmas? You have to be a psychopath to not like Christmas. My family no offense. Never I mean, had you a like it now. With Christmas. Yeah. <sighs> Look. Look, my grandma never did Christmas. My mom and pop never did Christmas. <laughs> Every time, I had to go get my own gifts. Okay, well, Roxanne's trying really, really hard this year to make it special for everyone, and she really wants you to come, and she's really upset that you're not going to be there this year. Is Santa going to be there? If I say yes, will you come? If I come, will I have to be nice? Uh, um, probably mandatory. So, so if Santa is there, what are the rules? No killing him. Hmm. Okay. It may, if he is there, then you can give him a stern talking to. Yes. <laughs> True. Let me think. Hmm. I just need to go connect with my family. Let me make a fire. No, don't worry, it's fine. Don't worry, Grandpa. Your grandson's just <laughs> crazy to death. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I really? lost tracks of him this yes. year anyway. Not much of a chance of me succeeding. Plus, if it'll make if it'll make my two favorite grandchildren happy, as well as my baby girl, then then I'll do it. I'm a favorite grandson now. Yes. <gasps> Merry Christmas! It's Yay. honestly a Christmas miracle. Um, can we get out of this frozen lake now? Because I think I'm gonna, like, get hypothermia. Or should I pick up all the traps first? Uh, traps? You yeah, pick up the traps, you um... One of them on your way in. Thank goodness. I, oh, okay. I'm gonna wait over here if you want to go pick up the traps. I don't feel comfortable anymore. Frankie, you, you should come with me. Um... Uh, nah, we can just well, leave him here. I'm sure no one else is gonna be wandering in these woods. Yeah. Sure. Come on, let's go. Christmas is awaiting. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Let's get you to the fire. All right. Now, why did you call me here? What the hell is that? Michael, hey, thanks for coming. Uh, promise not to freak out. I don't know. It's uh, that's new. Uh, you can come out now. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh, uh, why is why are you here? Oh, okay, okay. What is he okay. doing here? Look, there's kind of a situation going on, and I think we just need to put our differences aside and work together just this once, and then we can go back to hating each other. Okay? He's literally the reason why they're gone. What personality possessed you to think this was a good idea? No, no personalities are possessing me right now, and. He might be the reason that they're gone, but this is his lab and the only reason that I might hopefully be able to bring them back. Look, you two, we all want the same thing right now. We want to, well, we want to bring Lizzie and Evan back and I'm sorry, but that's, it's not possible. So then why am I here? Why, what okay. am I doing yes, here? Why is he here? Look, you need to shut up, all right? I am not dealing with you. You're standing in my facility, my lab. You're the reason why our family is the way it is. Okay, guys, we really don't have time for this right now. I might not be able to bring Lizzie and Evan back to life. That's just, I don't know how to bring people back from the dead. I'm sorry, but 
there's still an issue at hand. They're still here. And if we can stabilize them, we can at least make it so it stays that way, at least for now. So that's what I need your guys' help with. I suppose with a few theories, it shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Exactly. And having you guys here is going to make it easier, I think, because, well, I mean, you're their blood. As much as I love and care about them and consider them my siblings, too, I, I'm just an animatronic at the end of the day. So, my theory, using the interdimensional portal, hopefully we can use it to stabilize them. At least to make it how they were so they don't keep reappearing and disappearing from reality. Can you guys help me? I'm sure that I can. Not sure what he might add to this equation, but... Michael, please. F fine. For their sake. For their sake, I'll help. Alright? But this, this better work. I... 75% confident that it will. Anyways, um... <clears throat> Alright, all we need to do is call out to them. Uh, they got... They... They love you, especially you, William. They haven't really seen or talked to you in a while, so just and call out sure to them. Want to see me. Oh, trust me. I'm sure. Evan? Lizzie? Lizzie? It's time. Evan? E Evan. Lizzie. Perfect. Perfect. You guys are here. Uh, look, you just gotta trust me, okay? You have to walk through that portal. And everything will get fixed. Okay. Are you ready, Evan? Let's do this. Because baby, what happened? Uh, no. I, I don't know. This doesn't no. make any sense. Uh, it should have... Uh, the, the portal, it, it doesn't turn off. The, Where the are they? Activated. Look, I'm trying to figure it out, okay? Just everybody give me a second. The failsafe uh, protocols must have engaged. Yes, they did. I, I haven't even seen this before because, it, well, it, it's supposed to be safe. This doesn't make any sense. Um, but what about I, Lizzie and Evan? Uh, How are they? Do we know we even... Do we even know where they are? Of course I, we don't know where they are. It's a very... This is a theory. Well, it, it's not just a theory. This, this should have, this should have worked. I, I don't know what went wrong. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I can't even reactivate the portal. It's not working. What if we reboot the whole system? It's not working. I'm trying. The system's completely frozen, and with the safety protocol in place, it doesn't want to activate it anyway because I could literally destroy the world. Well, yes, of course. If a portal suddenly came up and we were standing, and it would rip oh us in half, gosh, let alone okay. the entire environment. All right, everybody, just shut up and let me think. Um, so clearly there's nothing... You know what? what? I Did you I put in any so of the wrong values? Today. No, I didn't put any... Michael, where are you going? Look, I'm sick of this. I keep getting told that people can bring them back, and then I get my hopes up, and then they're gone again, and then they come back, and they're gone, and I'm sick of it. I'm over it. I'm done. I'm but, done being messed with. I'm not trying to mess with you. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm just... I, I just want my siblings back that you took from me. And you think we don't want the same thing? I... I just want some peace in my life for five minutes. And clearly, I can't get it. So have fun figuring this out. For all we know, they're probably fully dead now. Michael! Don't say that. <sighs> Are there any chances this could still work? I, I, I don't, uh, uh, I don't know. I, the values are right. I, it, it won't even let me launch it anymore. <sighs> I was hoping this would work, but... I, as was I. I, I mean, th there's still a chance, right? I, I could, I could make this work. Uh, probably. Keep trying. 
I'm going back to the drawing board. Wait, you're leaving too? But, William... This didn't work, Circus Baby. Something still might. I'm not sure what. But... I... No. This doesn't make any sense. Where... Where did I go wrong? I'm sorry, Lizzie. And Devon. This place isn't very Christmassy, but I put some snow particles on the stage, and you know what, at this point, not everything needs to be perfect. It's fine as is. I'm sure everyone's going to have a wonderful time. <laughs> Alright, I guess we just have to wait for everybody to show up. In the meantime, I guess I should go check on those pizzas and make sure those are getting baked. Alright, let's- oh. oh! Um... Uh... Merry uh, Christmas, right? I guess! Surprise! <laughs> oh, what are you guys doing here? Or, well, more importantly, Dad, what, what are, what are you doing here? Well, I heard Santa was gonna be here. It, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm uh, here to enjoy Christmas with my family. Wait, uh, actually, you're you're going to join us? That's right. <laughs> oh my God! Thank you, Daddy. Oh. oh. You're, you're most welcome. Well, this is exciting. We'll have Cassie and all of the others coming, and uh, th this is going to be great. Uh, oh, I, oh, I really don't want to burn the pizzas. I have to go, but um, thanks for coming, and uh, I guess make yourself at home. I think this is going to be the best party we've done in a really long time. <laughs> Me too. It's going to be so fun. Um, Yeah, go check on the pizzas, though, because they don't smell great right now. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> So, um, you're here for the Christmas party. It's going to be so fun. Um, you've never really been to it's... something like this before, so, um. <laughs> oh, wow, the pizzas are literally on fire. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, one second. I'm getting a phone call from Circus, maybe. Um, I'll just be a minute, okay? Is there supposed to be this much smoke? Um, you know, maybe no. I will like this party. You go, you go you know handle what? that, um, Gregory. You go help Roxanne, actually. I think of that course, would be of course. probably for the best, um. Okay, sorry. Hi, Circus Baby. Um, what's up? Uh, hey, Gregory. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't have better news. Um, I know you're at the Christmas party or whatever, but I. I don't think I'm gonna come. Wait, what? But you're not gonna come. Why? What's What's up? You sound upset. Gregory, I. I did. I did everything I could. I. I... I couldn't save them. Wait... Wait... Maybe, what are you talking about? Evan and Lizzie, they're... They're gone, Gregory. No, no... No, what do you mean? What do you mean they're gone? They, they can't just be gone. I... I don't know. I just... We had them walk into the portal and they were supposed to come out more stabilized and they just... They didn't. Michael and William are both really upset. Just... What? I had to tell you. Just don't tell the others, okay? Just... Just let them enjoy Christmas. Um... Yeah. I'm... I'm sorry, Gregory. Oh. What? They're... They're gone? No, no, no. Lizzie, Evan, Eyes. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. This isn't how this was supposed to happen. I, if I would have known that you guys were going to disappear, then I would have gotten this all figured out a long time ago, back when you guys wanted me to. I'm... I'm so sorry. I... I wish I could have done more. I... 
I wish I could have used magic to bring you guys back, but... It seems like no matter what I tried, nothing worked. And now you guys are gone. Forever. Well, I wouldn't say forever. Oh. Hi, Gregory! <laughs> Was it... Evan? Hi, Gregory. We've really missed you. How... How is this possible? Well, I'm not entirely sure if I'm being honest, but look, I think we're fixed now. We have all our abilities back from before. I... I think it had something to do with your grandpa. Wait. Golden Freddy? Yeah. <laughs> he totally helped us. Right, Evan? Yeah, I think so. It was really cool. Oh. You know how much I'm, I'm a fan I am of him. <laughs> oh! Um. Hello. Golden Freddy? Um. What is going on? Tell well, him, Golden Freddy! Tell him how you saved us! I thought about what you said. And maybe I can't fix what life had dealt to them. But it was a little unfair that they didn't get to enjoy this world. As I sh as I should have been. <laughs> so. Wait, so, you you saved them. You did it. I brought. Now, just to clarify, I didn't bring them back to life. They're back to what they were, but they're a lot more stable now. They shouldn't disappear on you like they did before. No way. Which we're really grateful for. As cool as it would have been to be alive again, I. I like our lives as is. We have friends, we have family, and that's all we could really ask for. Really? So, yeah. you guys aren't mad or anything? <laughs> of course not! I mean, I... I wish you would have told us from the get-go, and we definitely got our hopes up a little bit, but... I'm just happy that things can be back to normal. Me too. We can be best friends again, and you yeah. and Michael, you guys can still be a big happy family. And I, I think even our dad is a little bit more willing to see and talk to us now, too. Really? Yeah. So, all good things. <laughs> now, I heard something about a Christmas party. Oh, yeah. Um, there's a huge Christmas party happening over in the rest of the atrium, um... Did you guys want to join? Well, yeah! No more time for tears, everybody! Come on, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Little Freddy, are you coming? Oh, yeah. No, I haven't partied this. I'm gonna party hard like it's... Well, actually, I shouldn't say what I did that day, but I'm gonna party hard! <laughs> All right, Grandpa, come on, let's go! Oh, and, uh, come Gregory? Come on, hurry! Huh. I still got... I'm still gonna be the best, Grandpa, because I still got that little game station you wanted. <gasps> really? Just don't tell anyone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything is perfect, but that's okay. I won't kill Santa Claus To make my baby girl happy I had to pause Till next year of course And then I'll have his hand So run little piggy Or you'll be seeing red Took time to accept Let go and forgive Now I cherish this imperfect life That I live Snowflake stands As memories Tell us.
tried to test fate, but it went astray. Made it back in time to enjoy this day. The veil separates us, we linger close. To celebrate Christmas with the ones we love most. I didn't struggle, just wanted to sing. Wait, ready? I need a drink Took time to accept Let go and forgive Now I cherish this imperfect life that I live Snowflakes stand As memories are made In this winter wonderland Our dreams never fade The life may be tough We found the key To unlock the joy And set our spirits free of the things I can't change Found peace in the chaos It may sound strange The scars on my heart Tell a story so true But here with you all I'm no longer blue Everyone's been through something this year But it's time to put all of that behind us And celebrate the here and now Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays One more time Ha, 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 ha. 